Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Amber and this is a channel all about plus size fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Today we have a haul from Anthropology. So as you know, Anthropology is one of my faves to try on because their styles are so fun and whimsical and kind of over the top and it makes you almost feel like you're playing like fairy tale make-believe dress up sometimes so I have quite a few items here um, from bottoms pants skirts dresses tops so it should be a pretty fun try on um, the only thing I'm always nervous about is I never know what size I am at anthro um, I might be in between or they're just like not consistent sometimes their like largest size fits like their smallest size and vice versa so yeah we'll see we'll see what we get um <laughs> also anthropology is a higher price point so these are really things that um i would look at for special occasion for some of the dresses um some of the other pieces are great everyday items but they are just a little bit higher price point because they do take a lot of time and care and thought into the garment so you are paying for that extra kind of skill um, that goes into it um, but yeah without further ado let's get into the haul as a reminder here are my measurements I am 5'6 I wear about a size 22 and I'm straight from the front but curvy from the side so a curvy rectangle okay so first up long denim skirts are definitely up and coming for fall you're starting to see some of them right now um, and i grabbed this one from anthro because it looks so cute so this is a size 22 and i would say i'd probably size up i i'm not sure if the 24 is going to be a little bit too big but right now this feels just a little too small in the waist and then i'm also getting a little bit of bunching up here so I think the 24 would just be better for me. The fabric, I believe, is a cotton lyocell, so it is drapier. There is no stretch, so just keep that in mind, which is also another reason that sizing up would probably be good. And the length is definitely a maxi length, hits at the top of the foot. You get this slit in the front, and the wash is a nice light blue denim wash. There's front pockets and back pockets and overall it's just super cute and then the top is i think it's called like an extended shoulder or a, a strong shoulder tank and this is in a size 2x the fabric is a actually it's pretty dense rib and it's in this stripe there are some shoulder pads at the shoulder. I will say that the neck hole was like really tiny, trying to get my head into. And then the length is a full length and ultimately just really cute. I love this type of vibe um, coming out and I love it paired back to like wide leg jeans or shorts or even um, like the pleated trousers are really cute with this and then put some like chains on with it and it's super cute. Uh, the only thing that like is annoying is just how narrow this neck is but I also have like weird sensory issues with things around my neck so it might be just fine for you but yeah otherwise really cute so actually the striped shirt that I just had on is a 1x so it definitely runs oversized um, I might have sized down intentionally knowing that so if you do want a true over oversized thing go for your size if you want maybe a little bit more of a slim oversized fit then you can size down next up these pants are the colette high rise wide leg crops they're in a size 22 and they're in this really fun little like peach print so these fit really great i love the high rise the fabric is super stretchy and they've got these front patch pockets and back patch pockets if anything i wouldn't mind the length being like one inch shorter um i feel like i want it to be like kind of this true crop instead of hitting at the top of the foot 
But beyond that, these are so cute. And actually, I wonder if I like were to wash and dry them, if they would shrink up a little bit. So yeah, super comfortable, super fun. Love the print. These are cuties. So next up, these are the satin wide leg cargo pants. I'm wearing a size 24 in this lilac color. I would say the size is good for me. Um, it does have elastic at the back waist, which is nice for some stretch. You can see that they did come out of the packaging quite wrinkled. So you will have to steam these when you do wear them. They've got pockets up here and then cargo pockets with a little like lace up detail kind of at the bottom, which is <laughs> just decorative, I suppose. Um, they are quite long and then a wide leg as you can see. So you might have to hem them a little bit or wear maybe like a higher shoe. They're comfortable. Um, they are just a little wrinkly, so keep that in mind. They also have no stretch besides like the elastic at the back waist. And then there is a sheen to the fabric. It is like the satin twill. And then the top is this little lace smocked wrap peplum. I'm wearing a size 3X and it's in the color white. So this one, I'd almost want to try a size down. It is pretty big here on the bust and then the armholes are really low because of that. But yeah, I think I could probably do a size down. There's a lot of stretch all around it because of the smocking. Oh, and I'm realizing that there's maybe a sensor or a button. Oh, it's a button. Okay, it's an inside button. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of smocking around the waist and then also at this neckline for decoration. There's a little flutter with a lace finish edge and then it is more of a cropped length. It is a functional wrap so you can make it tighter um, and it's pretty cute. I think it would be really cute back to some jeans or jean shorts. Okay, so this is one of those outfits that I love the idea of it, but I feel like the execution is a little bit too much. So these shorts are a high-rise sailor pant short, and I'm wearing a size 22 in the color ivory. So I absolutely love the idea of these. Um, the entrance is a little bit interesting, so you unbutton this button here, and then the zipper is underneath the flap here. So you have to like figure out how to zip it first and then button it closed. The fabric is nice. It's like structured but stretchy. So it feels like it's got good hold but it still moves with you. The only thing is I wish that the inseam was a little bit longer. These are, these are pretty short for little shorts. So <laughs> for me, I wouldn't mind an extra inch or two um, just to be a little bit more comfortable. And then this top, like I love the idea of this stripe with these shorts, like so cute. But this top is literally just like fabric on fabric on fabric. Like there's no shape or anything to it. I think it's supposed to be off the shoulder. It like won't stay off the shoulder too well. Um, but there is this first little ruffle, the second ruffle, and then there's this little kind of banded uh, hem, <laughs> little layer underneath. Um, there are sleeve holes under here with elastic as well. There's just like a lot of fabric. It's like a lampshade, honestly. <laughs> I think it would be cute if it was like maybe strapless, but then also like less volume and then also like tucked in. Like this vibe right here, like she's kind of cute but this is a lot, so that's gonna be a no. So next up, with the Barbie movie coming out, I feel like these pants are absolutely perfect. These are a high rise little parachute pant in this bubblegum pink, and I'm wearing a 3X. These are super comfortable, elastic waist with drawstring, they've got pockets on the front, and pockets on the back. And then they also have the cargo pockets here. Little 3D ones. So um, 
they actually have like this bellow here that stand away from the leg a bit. The leg shape is more of a straight leg, but like a wider straight leg, if that makes sense. And the fabric is this like slightly brushed, almost like suede hand feel to it, but they're very lightweight, not too noisy. And I love the color, super cute. So this next look is so cute. First, this is the Maeve straight maxi skirt. I'm wearing a size 12, 3X here, and it's in the color ivory. So this fabric is really stretchy. It's that linen blend, lots of good stretch here, really comfortable and soft. It's got like a higher rise, patch pockets, back pockets, and then just the slim kind of column skirt to it. And then there is a slit in the back for ease of movement, um, but ultimately super comfortable. It is a button and zip closure and just really comfy. And then this top is this directional stripe button down shirt. I'm wearing a size 3X. It's a really nice rayon poly fabric, really drapey. Um, I love the directions that the stripes take. That feels really fun. There's a cuff with two buttons and then this more blue sans sleeve. And then the length is actually pretty good length. It's got a shirt tail, so it picks up a little bit in the side seam and then dips down again. And I always size up in button downs because I, I know that um, my hip measurement is a little bit bigger so I want it to be flowy but I also like when they're a little bit easy breezier here at the bust in the armhole too and then that gives you enough to like be able to tie it at the waist as well so keep that in mind if you want this kind of expression of fit but otherwise your actual size will do well also. So before I move into dresses I just wanted to show you guys this really cute three-piece pajama set. I will say that anthropology pajamas in the summer for me are my favorite. They're so like breezy and light and they usually have some sort of really cute detail. I have a pair from a year or two ago that are my absolute favorite. It's like a smocked tank top and then these like flowy kind of Aladdin pants. So anthro, if you're listening, bring those back in like 50 patterns, colors. I'm going to buy them all. They are legit my favorite. But this one is three piece set. It comes with this long robe that has a tie. And underneath you get these cropped wide leg pants with the smocked waistband and with a cute little drawstring with contrast tassel. And then this little bubble top here. So it's cropped. It's got a ruffle at the top and the bottom and then smocking in the back it does come with straps if you do want straps on it instead and then it is two different prints i think only two um so mix and match in the robe and then the top is one print and the bottom is the other there are pockets and then it's just like a perfect flowy little piece i love this this next dress is a cotton gauze smocked maxi dress I'm wearing a size 2X in the color black. So this is super comfortable, really stretchy at the bodice. They do have this little um, silicone tape at the top that keeps flipping out. So that's not really necessary in my opinion. There is a little ruffle at the top as well. And then it does come with straps that you can attach if you want them. Uh, the skirt itself is super flowy and full. I wish it had pockets, but other than that, this dress is so great for just like easy, relaxing days. But it also looks like you could dress it up pretty quick or pretty easily and pretty quickly as well. So love a versatile dress. So this next dress is really cute. It's this poplin ruffle like flutter midi dress and I love this bright yellow color. I did get it in the 2x and it fits great from like the waist down 
this bodice is so tight and like the armholes are kind of funny like there's restriction here but then a lot here so I'm thinking sizing up might help but I also don't know if it's gonna make it like really oversized the weird thing is it's not usually my bust that causes an issue <laughs> so it makes me think that this bust in general does run pretty small or that my waist is a little bit too full so it's not like pulling down yeah no i feel i still feel like the bust would be too big so just be mindful if you do have a larger chest this may cause some problems but beyond that super cute it's got pockets and it's like a perfect easy dressy dress if that makes sense like this would be perfect for like outdoor picnics or birthday parties or graduation parties that type of thing this next dress is a really cute stripe hook and eye front corset dress in a size 3x and it's in a blue and white stripe so this is so stinking cute i don't know why it gives me like poly pocket vibes or something um, but it's got this strapless hook and eye closure front and then it dips a little bit um, at the front here. It is more tailored on the front bodice and then fully smocked on the back. I will say it is a little bit big in the bodice for me. So I, and there's plenty of stretch, so I would probably try to size down to a 2X here. The skirt is so cute. It's like a little circular cut and then you've got pockets and it hits at the midi length. This fabric or print, actually not quite sure. I think it's a yarn, yes, the yarn dye. So it's got the blue and white stripe, but then it's got little ticks of red in there too, which is really cute. And then you've got the little red kind of dots going down the front as well. This one's really cute and charming. So I tend to gravitate towards midi and maxi length dresses. I just like the proportions on me. They are easy. I don't have to worry about wind blowing them up. But I know a lot of people do prefer a shorter dress in the warmer months. So I did pick this one up. It is this beautiful kind of fiery orange red color. It's got this smocked bodice, button front, little tear, and then ruffle. This is in a 3X, which is too big for me. But it is also really short. So imagine if it actually fit where it was supposed to, kind of up here. This thing is like a <laughs> micro mini. Like it's not covering much. So proceed with caution. Note that I have a long torso and maybe this will work better for you. So next up is this white denim dress. I'm wearing a size 3X and it's in this color white. So this is so cute. It is this actually pretty hefty denim. So it feels really like structured. Um, it's got a lot of like tailoring, like this little corset kind of seaming at the top. There is smocking at the back as well as a zipper on the side. And I would say this is probably the right size, even though the straps are maybe a little bit too long and it is a little bit like big here but I don't think sizing down would be good for like the waist part of it there are pockets and it is a longer length it's almost like an ankle length but really cute and I love the idea of this with a little belt so let me show you that okay so this is a brown belt that I owned for a while and like belts are coming back again with that whole quiet luxury trend happening. So I love this clean white with the brown belt and brown sandal. And you could even do a little like brown bag and uh, it would be super cute look. It looks very like coastal Maine type of vibes. So this next dress is so easy, breezy and flowy. I'm wearing a 3X and it is in this purple printed like border print. So I feel like the fit of this is actually really great. It's supposed to be flowy and easy. Um, it's smocked at the top here. It does seem to stay off the shoulder pretty well. And then it has this little flutter sleeve. The fabric is this really lightweight cotton crosshatch and then there is a lining to it. The print itself is like 
under the sea. So <laughs> lots of fish floating around and there are pockets and it's just, yeah, really easy. It's definitely like a vacation beachy vibe dress. So this next one is Nova's favorite. <laughs> like a little baby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this next one is a flowy, loose, pleated dress. This is a 3X in a multi-print. So I could easily size down to a 2X here. It is really big. I could actually probably size down to a 1X if I'm being honest. Um, there are straps here that are adjustable and then it does a high low. Personally, it feels a little bit short at the low or the highest part for me. Um, I wish it would have been a little longer but then it does dip down into these two layers in the back and it's really pretty with the pleats and this bold print. Definitely a statement type of dress. This next dress is definitely more of a special occasion type of dress. I'm thinking like evening wedding or some sort of gala event. It is absolutely stunning. It is this strapless bow fit and flare dress and it's in this beautiful magenta color. This is a size 24. It's a stretch cotton sateen and it's got a zipper back. It's a slight stretch to it. I would maybe try one size up just because the pockets are gaping a little bit here. Um, I am curious what that's going to do for the top bodice because it's already a touch big at this top part. Um, but for the most part, it fits really well and it's so pretty. Like, I, I need to find a place to go in this because it's so pretty. <laughs> All right, guys, that wraps up our anthropology haul. Let me know down below what I should keep and what must go. As always, thank you for stopping by and letting me play dress up. And please comment, like, subscribe, share, and come back for more. See you next time.